Hi, Oakland. I'm Mayor Sandra Berry, and I'm here in Studio 4 at Village Hall with our new VFW Post Commander, Roy Johnson. If you were watching the 4th of July parade, he was one of our co-hosts uh, for that, and uh, we, our, our anchor, and, how, and I want to welcome you to Village Hall, and how are you doing today, sir? Doing fine, thank you, and thank you for inviting me over, and thank you for letting me do the parade. It was, a, it was an honor. Well, I was very impressed. You were installed just a month or two ago, and your speech when you um, came up, you said, I want to put this VFW on the map. I want to reach out into the community and make sure everyone knows we're here and the work we're doing and make every effort to help the veterans in our community. And I was very impressed by that. So thank you for helping on the 4th of July parade. How was that? It was, it was fun. It was a pleasure. And it was fun working with Adam. Yeah. And uh, how is uh, everything at the Post doing? We're doing okay. Uh, we just had our, our family cookout, our post cookout this past Sunday. Uh, it was a success. Very good. We've got our candlelight bowl coming up this Saturday night, August 19th, at the Oaklawn Bowl, or Arena Bowl in Arena. Oak Lawn. Uh -huh. It's from 6 until whenever. So everybody's invited. Take so a, the whole community can whole come community, out and support our veterans that They can. Way. $25 for bowling and dinner and $15 for dinner only. So where is the post located? Post is at 9514 South 52nd Avenue here in Oak Lawn. It's pretty much just west of the train station. So you guys have that fun acorn out in front. We um, do. Yeah. Yes, we do. And uh, so you're kind of behind Deja Brew over there. Uh, uh, yes, we are. Right in the center of town. So Correct. So how long have you guys been there? Oh, I think Forever. we've <laughs> I th I think we've been there probably sixty some years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you have um, kind of a neat facility there. Um, you have uh, meeting rooms where you have, you know, your, you conduct your business, but you also have a banquet hall. You have two banquet rooms. We have one upstairs, one downstairs. I believe the one upstairs holds about 180 to 200, and the one downstairs is 75 to 80. Yeah. And those are available for rent for... Weddings, bar mitzvahs, communions, graduations, wow. birthdays. Uh, and you have bingo, very popular bingo there. Bingo's every Wednesday night. Uh, you're welcome to attend. Yeah, and do you have to be a veteran to, to attend these things? You and, do not. And, no, you do not. And then you also have a lounge there, and sometimes there's music and entertainment there. Correct. And, our, uh, our lounge is open seven days a week uh, yeah. until at least midnight. Okay. And, uh, anybody's welcome to, to stop yeah. by and say hello, have a drink. So we really want to reach out to the veterans in Oak Lawn and let them know about our VFW. Who can be a member of our VFW? Any veteran who served in a combat zone is eligible to become a, a member of the VFW. Or if you served in, in uh, Berlin, I believe, or in uh, areas of Korea. Uh, uh, Vietnam so, veterans, World War II veterans, uh, Desert Storm, yeah. uh, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan. We, we are desperately looking for members. These World War II guys are, are dying off at a, at a rapid pace. And the guys like myself from Vietnam, uh, we're just, uh, we're not going to be around forever. So No, I know Trustee Vorderer, our District 4 trustee, is a member of the VFW, is, uh, and when he came back from Vietnam, he came uh, into a situation that was, you know, they were not welcomed, they were not uh, supported, and the World War II guys at the Post, Terry talks about being so welcoming and and making sure that every veteran who had, you know, uh, any any of that experience, that they had a home at that VFW, and so there are there are a lot of uh, Vietnam vets there. Um, I, I know I've I've met um, some people from the Middle East conflicts there. A lot of younger folks too. We we do have some. And uh, my son Dan is a past two-time commander of the VFW, and he's uh, he yeah. served in Iraq and Afghanistan, and he's currently deployed to the Middle East again. Yeah. But uh, he served two yeah. terms he's as a commander. captain, right? He's currently a captain. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, he will be a major before he gets home. Yeah. We're, we're Hopefully hoping. he gets home safely. That's the most important yeah, it thing. It is. Yes, it most is. Most important thing. 
But I know when when he was president of or the the chair of the, the commander, yeah. thank you, of the VFW. You know, it was his mission to reach out to all those uh, the the newer conflict folks, the and, younger guys, and and many of these these guys and gals. You know, feel very isolated, and you know we have we have a lot of. Um, unfortunately a lot of unmet needs with these folks especially social mental health all of those things and you know i i really love that your passion is to help with jobs you guys have jobs fairs with congressman lipinski yes we do and how often do you have those i i think he does them uh at least once a year in, yeah. in our post he, he does them at other posts within his district yeah. and and you you help out the the blind veterans also we do the Can blind you tell vets? me about that event That's the blind vets from Heinz come to our post once a year it's generally in april and we we feed them dinner they they get a police escort from Heinz uh police and motorcycle groups and uh antique car clubs they uh -huh. they escort them all the way from Heinz to our post and we escort them off the bus into the post and we give them uh, a meal. Uh, some of the ladies from from our uh, auxiliary mm -hmm. will dance with them, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll have a great old time. And before th before they leave, we generally give them a duffel bag with uh, personal hygiene nice. uh, things. Uh, a swag uh, bag of uh, goodies. Correct, yeah. right? As we used to call in the Navy, a ditty bag. Uh, a ditty bag. Shaving equipment. Uh, I think we even yeah. give them a. A CD player. Wow, that's so, nice. Yeah, it, it is. It's 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 very nice. So, you know, I also see you guys at all our events. You know, anytime, you know, we put out a call, you're there. If we're having a ceremony, you guys really add a wonderful touch to it. And uh, your color guard and honor guard are, are you know, just a big resource. Um, Memorial Day. Veterans Day, you're out on the Village Green. The, this VFW is very active. Well, that's what we're there for. We're there to serve the, not only the veterans, but the community. Yes. And we're there to uh, to show that we're, we're available and uh, just uh, honor America and honor Americans. Yeah. And what other activities do you do to support veterans locally? Oh, we have uh, we have presented the colors uh, at yeah. various uh, USO barbecues. In the area, uh, I yeah, mentioned just a big one at one of our car dealers. Yeah, we just had one yeah. in Napleton. Yeah, very well attended. Yeah, it was a beautiful day. It it really was. Uh, we've got our candlelight bowl coming up. All of the money generated from that goes yeah. to uh, to the veterans. We just uh, hosted a an event at our post last mm -hmm. Saturday night for the law enforcement motorcycle mm -hmm. clubs. Mm -hmm. And the residents of the area may have heard all of these <laughs> motorcycles coming and going, but uh, I think there were a couple of hundred yeah. bikers there that night, and uh, there was no trouble at all. Of course, they're, they're law enforcement. We, we but, would not uh, expect trouble, yes. They were just a, a great group of, of uh, men and women. Uh -huh. uh, they had a good time. And uh, wherever we're needed uh, to help veterans, uh, mm -hmm. we're available. So... I'm not a veteran, but I'm a member of the auxiliary. Can Correct. you tell me a little bit about the auxiliary and who can participate in that? The auxiliary supports the, the VFW, and the auxiliary is open to any... We, we don't have a ladies' auxiliary anymore. Uh, two years ago at the National Convention, they opened it up to men. So now we're just an Shocking. auxiliary. <laughs> we're just an auxiliary, and it is open to any man or woman whose father grandfather or grandmother or, f or mother, brother, sister, son or daughter, or, is, spouse. or spouse, is eligible for the VFW. They don't necessarily have to be a member of the VFW. They have to be eligible for the VFW, and then they can join the, the auxiliary. And the auxiliary does uh, great work. And a wonderful group of women. They wonderful. are. And men. And men. Oh, oh, the one few man, men that we have. Yes. Do we have one man or two? I think we have two. Two? Okay. Five. My wife says five. Five. Okay. I haven't seen any of them, but. Yeah. But I'm, I'm a proud member of the auxiliary, and anything I could do to support uh, the mission is, is. And your father is a life member of our post. Yeah. Yeah. My dad's a World War II vet, and you, you have just a handful of. of we do. Of, we do. Yeah. Bob Wilcox. Yeah. Mr. Wilcox stormed the beach in Normandy. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. Just had a birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Wilcox. Yes, he did. 
And uh, so if someone is sitting at home and saying, you know, I'm looking for something to do in the community and I, I really want to support our veterans, I want to get involved. So if how, how do they reach out to you? How do they contact you? What's the best way? Uh, stop at the VFW uh, and talk to any member. Uh, my name, again, is Roy Johnson. I'm the commander. We have our meetings the second and fourth Tuesdays of every month. Our meetings begin at 730. The auxiliary meets the first Tuesday of every month. Uh, we're there to help. Uh, yeah. Stop in. The email address is vfwcommander at vfw.org. So if you send an email, I check all of them. Good. So VFW Commander, you don't need the post name? No. Okay. VFW Commander at VFW.org. That's a pretty good email address to have. It, I bet, did Dan do that? He did. <laughs> Dan set that up. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Yes. Because I imagine there are a lot of VFW commanders in the nation who would like that email. Yes, address. there are, I'm sure. But Oakland's got it first. He's, he's co computer savvy. I am not. <laughs> So, you know, I, I enjoy going to some of your, your social events. You have painting uh, and, and art stuff. You have just a whole mix of things. How, how do people find out about that? And, you know, what's the best way? Well, be we... Be a member? Be a member. <laughs> that, that helps. Is it expensive? No. For, uh, for the uh, post, it's $50 a year. You're kidding me. No. And as I, as I tell everybody... $50 a year, uh, that's about as cheap as Walmart, or not Walmart, Sam's Club and Costco. Yeah. And, and we will give you much, much more yeah. as, as far as your veterans' benefits than you will get from either of those So members get special benefits, too. So Well, we can, if, if you're having trouble collecting your veterans' benefits that are due to you, we can help you with that. We have service officers that, uh, that uh, are there to provide help. I collect disability through the VFW or through the VA. I would have never known that I was eligible for this had I not been a member of the VFW. Uh, it's uh, yeah. it's all due to exposure to Agent Orange. So anybody out there who was in Vietnam and was exposed to Agent Orange, uh, there are uh, a long list of presumptive diseases that. Uh, are subject to disability payment. Uh, diabetes so, is one, heart disease, certain cancers. So, so if you veterans really should be plugged into our VFW, which is should. fighting for them. Exactly, uh, we are. And you're a national organization. Yes, we are. Very yes, good. Are. Where is your headquarters? Our headquarters is in Kansas City. Uh, I don't know if it's Kansas City, Kansas, or Kansas City, Missouri. One of those. It's in Kansas City. In fact, our next national convention is in Kansas City. And Betty and I are thinking about going next year. That'd be great. We've never been to a national convention, so we'd like to give it a try. We've, we've been to several state conventions, and they are a lot of fun. So this will be our first national good, convention. Good, good. It's close to home. Easy drive. It is. We go to Branson every year for Veterans Week. And Kansas City is actually a little closer than Branson as far as driving distance. Mm -hmm. Do you know in Oakland how many veterans there are? I don't. No? No. Is there any? Yeah. I'm sure there are ways to find out. Uh, yeah. Past State Commander Joe Station yeah. may have uh, access to yeah. that, and I, and I will ask him. Yeah. But um, the VFW is a vibrant kind of community organization, and, and you know, we're really reaching out to those, especially newer veterans, younger veterans, uh, to get involved and, and help support each other. And in many communities in Illinois, uh, there are smaller communities. The VFW is the center of the, mm -hmm. the community. Uh, it's, it's where everybody in town goes. Mm -hmm. Here in Oak Lawn, we have such a big community that there are so many other things to do that we almost get lost in the shuffle. Well, but, we're going to make sure that doesn't But we're there. Happen. We're there. Yeah, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. We hope so. So when will we see you next outside of the the bowling? What else is going on? Uh, Anything coming up? We'll see you for, for Veterans Day. and uh, You will see us. I will not be there because okay. we will be in Branson, Missouri. Okay. Uh, That's we've, fine. We have been doing that every year for about 12 years now. And I tell every veteran that I know, 
If you are a veteran, the only place on this planet where you should be on Veterans Day is Branson, Missouri. Because they treat, After Oakland. they treat veterans like royalty. They really do. And it's a great place to be. They not only celebrate Veterans Day on November 11th, they do it the entire week prior to November 11th. Beautiful. And it's it's a great place to be. But uh, Oakland's better, though. Uh, it, <laughs> it is. They just don't have as many live shows as they do. Correct. In well, we're working on that. We're working okay. on that. <laughs> when, when it gets to that point, then we won't go to Branson. We'll stay home in Oakland. Uh, I hope uh, to, to participate in some way in the field yeah. on the green coming the out. Fall on the green. Fall so, on the green. So we're also having a um, uh, 911 ceremony on September yes, 11th. Right, correct. Um, we're still locking down the time. It'll probably be evening so that the commuter traffic's kind of done because uh, it's a little crazy when you time it between trains. Yes, yeah. You know, you're, yeah, we've always participated in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You guys never say no whenever we ask. Yeah, if, even short notice. So. Yeah, if we're available, we'll, we're there. We'll make ourselves available. And, and another thing you do that I really appreciate is um, if I'm not sure how to display a flag or how to, um, you know, which order something should be in. Right. You guys are very good on protocol. You guys, you guys actually have a position within your command Correct. just for right. for, uh, for that reason. Yeah. So let's say you want to hang a flag. You're not sure the right way. You don't know what to do. You don't want to be disrespectful because nothing's worse than sending the wrong message than you want it to send. Correct. You know, like you, you don't want it upside down, for example. You know, that means something completely opposite. And you're so, in distress. Yes. So um, all of those things regular citizens don't know, but all of us want to be, you know, respectful. And, Correct. And so, so that's something that always impressed me. And I know around the village, you know, like I didn't know that the American Eagle on the top of the flag should only be on the American flag. Yes. You know, I never knew that. I, I and, and the Eagle should always be facing out. I never knew that. I see you guys. And, and don't yeah. look too carefully here. Yeah. So we're good. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> we are. Yeah, but uh, but that's a resource, and you guys work with our Boy Scouts also. We and do. Our Scouts, I don't know Girl Scouts. I don't know if they do much with with our veterans, but uh, I know you do a ceremony with the Boy Scouts collecting used flags, correct? Yes, correct. And then we ceremoniously burn them. So everyone's got kind of these um, flags that have flown proudly and are showing kind of the end of their useful life. There's a tear. Yeah, you want that fra that flag to be bright, gleaming, and new. And, and your older flags, you can't just throw them out. It's, it's disrespectful. And so we have a collection bin downstairs at Village Hall here, and we collect them year-round. And then the Boy Scouts uh, have this as one of their projects, and you guys help them with that, we do. how to properly dispose of a flag. Correct. And uh, it's a wonderful thing. And... And the monument across the street from uh, our post was done by a Boy Scout as part of the Eagle, Eagle Project. Yeah, so outside um, between the post and the, um, the, the train crossing, there's a beautiful, beautiful flagpole there and, and some brickwork and some uh, little plaques there. And that was the Eagle Scout Project a couple of years ago. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Justin uh, Aubin. Yep, great family. Yes. I believe he set it off to Yale. Is he? Yes. That's good. And we we are continually selling bricks for that uh, project. Uh, okay. We're going to expand it down the good. down the sidewalk. So so residents, while you're walking through the center of town, check that out and support your VFW by getting one of those bricks. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think it it used to be fifty dollars a brick. That's a good deal. It is. That's a good deal, and there's a lot of room for bricks. There so is. We can, we there can. is. There's much room there. So in your year as commander, besides making sure the VFW is front and center in Oakland and on our minds and reaching out to veterans, do you have any other projects you would like to do? Any, any dreams for our, our VFW? Uh, and I'm throwing you on the spot. You are. Uh, <laughs> I, I know that when I, when I was installed, I, I mentioned that I had three goals. One was to reconnect with the community, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just right now. Yeah. So, so if someone has like an organization and and they would like you to come and speak, are you available? Or a school? 
to talk about veterans issues? We, you yeah, give? Yeah, we're available, yes. So you guys have a really special partnership with our middle school too. Um, middle school, I don't know if you guys ever heard their orchestra. It's a true orchestra and it rivals like college orchestras that I've heard. I can't believe these are kids. They're amazing and the choir's amazing. And they, they've started to come to our, our events. Like, is it Veterans Day they go? They're, they will be at our post, I yeah. believe, Veterans Day. Yeah, Veterans Day. And they are on the Village Green, and, and they sing. And then there's a special performance after the ceremony. Everyone's invited to go to the, 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 the room at the VFW, the, the banquet hall. And they set up this full orchestra, and these kids do a performance. And it is it is... And I, it is spectacular. Every veteran really needs to hear that and connect with the next generation. And, and I've talked to Larry Fletchko about that. I think that they are committed on, because they're celebrating Veterans Day this year on November 10th. Okay. And he told me that they are committed that day. But we will be celebrating Veterans on Day on November 11th. Yes. So uh, I will have to talk to Larry again, but I think that he will yeah. have the orchestra there yeah. for that ceremony. They've done that a few years now, and I just love seeing the, the younger children with the veterans uh, listening to the stories. And the veterans, I think, really, really enjoyed that connection. They do. They too. do. Because it, it means a lot to, to pass it on and, and, and keep these traditions strong. And they enjoy the invitations from the different schools. Mm -hmm. that, uh, then they attend those ceremonies, and the kids give them cards and artwork, et cetera. And it's, uh, we, we don't consider ourselves anything special. We did what we did for love of God, love of country. Uh, it was nothing special. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really an honor to see these kids give us that respect. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's nice. Anything else you want to talk about? No, nothing else that I can think of. It's just a pleasure to be here with yeah. you. Uh, yeah, and you know I want to reach out again. Any veteran watching this, anyone who knows a veteran, you know you're you're you have friends at the VFW. Please stop by, say hello. You know, check them out, get involved, um, help help make it easier for these these folks returning from from conflict now, returning from their their tours. Um, this this generation of veterans, I think, is more stressed in many ways. Many of them haven't done just one or two tours. This is, I think, Dan's fourth. Dan's fourth. And and it's common for four or five tours. It's it's they're really taxed a lot, and and uh, it's. You know, let's let's support these folks. Let's build a network in Oakland that's going to really uh, be vibrant and supportive. And if you're not a veteran, the auxiliary would probably still want to talk to you, and you can participate by supporting the events, even if you don't want to. You're not a joiner, you know. But it's it's such a worthwhile cause. The auxiliary has a craft fair coming up in October, and uh, yeah, the, speaking of these men and women who are serving today, they're all volunteers. Mm -hmm. They're there because they want to be there, mm -hmm. and they love what they do for the most part, and uh, they don't mind going back and back and back. And speaking for my son Dan, uh, he r really enjoys being in the military. But it's challenging when you're done with that and integrating back in. It's it's there's a whole there's a whole different dynamic, and it's a different world, and and. You know, and as, as difficult it is, as it is for Betty and I with having a son in the military, it's got to be even worse for his wife, Leslie. Yeah. Even worse. And, and the VFW supports the spouses as we well. We do. Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I just want to thank you for watching, and let's support our veterans. Let's get involved with the VFW. And, uh, and I, with the community. Yeah. And thank you for, for having that commitment to oh, being out there in the community. I really, really like that. And Thank you. It's the, a pleasure. All, all the work you guys do, it's, it's your, your great friends of the Village of Oakland. And, uh, and thank you for coming to Channel 4. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. It was a pleasure. Okay. Thank you.